I am Dr. Sahana Deshpande. I am a gynecologist practicing from 15 years in uh, area of Uttarali, Padnam Nagar and Kanakpur Road. I am a consultant at Kanakpur Road Cloud9 Hospital which has newly opened its branch there. I am very happy to uh, talk to you about polycystic ovaries today. See, PCOS people once they get pregnant, maybe they would have got pregnant sometimes naturally because they have oligoovulation that is once in a while they ovulate or they may have conceived with ovulation induction or IVF or IUI but once they get pregnant we can't relax we have to know that since they have insulin resistance and hormone imbalance they may lead to more of miscarriages they are uh, definitely prone for insulin uh, resistance so they may develop uh, diabetes in pregnancy because they are obese and have hyperlipidemia they have hypertension in pregnancy because of all these problems they lead to IUGR of pregnancy and if there is GDM it may lead to macrosomias. So the control of uh, insulin resistance had to be continued along with metformin during pregnancy also. If metformin is given in pregnancy there is absolutely no harm to the baby which has been proved by studies. So it has to be continued to the patient even after she gets pregnant and when there a patient is an obese patient in PCOS she should not gain too much weight during pregnancy because again it leads to hypertension and GDM risks and that's why we tell them not to gain more than 2 to 3 kgs in the first 2 3 trimesters and in the third trimester she is allowed to gain 2 to 2 kgs per month. So first few trimesters the baby weight is hardly 500 to 600 grams whereas the baby gains weight in the last 3 trimesters that's when the true baby weight happens. So the patient does not need to gain much weight in the first trimester and the second trimester. In the last trimester, she can have uh, about 2 kgs per month by having a normal good diet. She shouldn't be going in for uh, junk food, sweets and uh, eating haphazardly or eating for two people what we say during pregnancy. All our relatives start forcing us to eat for two. Come on, you are pregnant, you start. That is not to be done for patient who is already with having a BMI of more than 35 that is she is already an overweight patient having PCOS. So these are the risks. Those who are in macrosomia for obstetric indications they will need to be delivered accordingly and uh, normal delivery or cesarean again depends on the obstetric indication during that time.